One of the most mystical parallels of why the ears function the way they do and why aren't they performing the way we want is most likely linked to something that a lot of you may not be aware of or have been told is poor blood circulation. A lot of times when you're dealing with the clicking sounds, the tinnitus, the ringing of the ears, just the fact that your ears are not functioning as they used to is probably leading to poor circulation. One way to boost the circulation without doing any further harm to the body with medications and things that can add to your list of symptoms is vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is very natural, very stimulating to the body. It can help get that blood to the ear. Vitamin E is very high in antioxidant properties. It helps protect blood vessels from damage caused by free radicals, promoting healthy vessels function and improve in circulation. Like I always explain, it's very hard to get good adequate blood supply to the ears, to the feet, to the hands. That's why a lot of times when it's cold or warm, you feel it in the exterior part of the body, the hands, the nose, and the feet. One thing that you can do with vitamin E oil is you can simply Take your vitamin E oil. You can get this on Amazon or anywhere online. I prefer a higher grade of vitamin E oil. Some of those vitamin E oils that you see online are watered down or they just don't have the right properties. So just make sure you get a good natural uh, vitamin E oil. I can even leave some recommended vitamin E um, products in the description for you so that way you can make a decision. But basically what you want to do is you want to just take a little of your vitamin E oil, e oil and it's very easy to apply this process so let me go ahead and open this up here and what you want to do is i can already i'm already getting a little on my fingertips here you just tip the bottle over a little bit like that and you want to go ahead and as i got a little bit here on my finger just kind of put it on both fingertips there maybe on two and what you want to do is you want to start stimulating the area around the ear going down the neck right into even right in here where the temples are, the temporalis uh, area here, even go inside the ear, just kind of do little circular motions with that oil. You're not taking any uh, Q-tips or anything like that, shoving it in the air. You're just basically just taking what you have your hands here, putting it on your fingertips, going inside the ear, rotate around. What this is going to do is help the blood circulation. It's going to vasodilate. It's going to help get more blood to the area. When it comes to vasodilation, Vitamin E oil may help dilate blood vessels, allowing for increased blood flow and reduced blood pressure. It also helps with improved red blood cell flexibility. What does that mean? Vitamin E helps maintain healthy red blood cells, making them more flexible and able to move through blood vessels more easily. It's also important that you know that vitamin E helps with reduced inflammation. Vitamin E's anti-inflammatory properties may help reduce swelling and inflammation in blood vessels, promoting better circulation. And this is why I say it's so important to do your research, because a lot of times you're dealing with ear problems and you're being put on medications. What do medications do? A lot of them. And this is not to say stop all medications if you're on medications prescribed by your doctor that has told you you need to take them. But in my humble opinion, I was prescribed medications. I uh, maybe did them for a few days, maybe even a week. I tried to stick with it. Noticed that there were more things going on with me. I noticed my blood pressure started to go up. I would take my blood pressure every often, every so often, and I noticed it was starting to go up. I was even gaining weight and uh, all these other things that come with taking medication. So again, that didn't work for me. I didn't want to go that route. I wanted to stay on the more natural side of things. So just be sure that uh, when you are doing this process, that you know, you stay in touch with your health health screenings, and you stay in touch with your health, uh, you know, your health knowledge on top of things like that. This is not to replace anything, but I'm going to tell you right now: the, the more natural you can be when it comes to ETD or tinnitus, you're going to find that this is going to be a huge benefit in your health. You're going to see a lot of changes happening, and a lot of positive changes happening for you. So remember, vitamin E can do wonders for you. I will be putting some uh, vitamin E recommendations in the description. You can check those out. But again, if this is something that you're dealing with, clicking sounds, muffling sounds, swishing sounds, um, you just feel like there's a lot of inflammation, you feel tight around the jaw, around the neck, this is something that can very much benefit, benefit your situation. Just take a little vitamin E oil, put it on the fingertips, go around the area of the ear, go even down the neck, and go around the ear here. 
inside the ear, go in there, swish it around a little bit, just do some circular rotations with that vitamin E oil on your fingertips, and you'll start to really find clarity, just like, as I found right now. I feel clarity already. I'm not having any ETD related symptoms, but just doing that alone, I feel the clarity. So again, remember, vitamin E oil is extremely positive. It's extremely beneficial for good blood circulation. And these are things that you're not told in the doctor's office, and I'm going to tell you here today. But remember, it's all about healthy lifestyle. You can't live a reckless lifestyle and, and do these simple and natural techniques and expect miraculous results either. You do have to put the work in as well on other areas like diet, stretching, nutrition, wellness, stressors, lowering the stressors, and then as well as doing the natural things that are going to help you feel better. So I hope this video was very helpful for you. If it was, please take time to subscribe to the channel. I try to bring content as often as possible. But in the meantime, I'm going to step out of the J Wellness Studio and leave you in good hands with this video. Like anything else, folks, we're here to simply go back to the basics. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.